A unique point about wine and why I became obsessed with, with these two asset classes is because they're, they're consumable. So you look at any other asset class out there, especially luxury assets, uh, fine art, classic cars, there's always going to be, let's say you're buying uh, Aston Martin DB5. Yeah, for me, one of the greatest cars ever made. But there's, say, 100, 200 in the world. There's probably always going to be 100 or 200 left in the world, mm -hmm. right? But with wine and whiskey, I became obsessed with this concept. Well, if I could buy in young and hold that long enough till it gets to a um, drinkable window, whether that's five, 10 years, whatever it is, as long as I find the consumer, I've got a happy investor who's made good profit, and then I've got someone who's enjoyed a bottle of whiskey or a bottle of wine with friends and family. They've paid a good price. Everyone's happy.